Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the Batman logo. It should be fairly straightforward. If you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. You will only be needing these two colours, black wool and yellow wool. Once you have both of those, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to be making it right here, you're going to want to kick this off with a row of 13 yellow wool in a row on the floor. That's 1, 3, 13. So... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Like that. And once you've got your row of 13 yellow wool, this is what you want to do next. Come all the way over to the left of our row of 13, and starting from this block right here, the first block, you want to do an up left diagonal. And go to the left of it by 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then do another up left diagonal, and go to the left of it by 2, 1, 2. Then do another up left diagonal, and go to the left by 3, 1, 2, 3. Then do another up left diagonal, and go to the left by 1. Then do another up left diagonal, and go to the left by 1. Then do another up left diagonal, and go to the left by 1. Then do two up left diagonals, so one and two. Go to the left of that second up left diagonal by one. Then do two more up left diagonals, so one and two. Go up on top of that second up left diagonal by one. And then do two more up left diagonals, so one and two. Once again, go up on top of that second up left diagonal by 1. Then do one more up left diagonal. And go up on top of your single diagonal by 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. To give you a nice row of 7. Once you have your row of 7, this is what you want to do. Starting from the 7th block right here, you want to do two upright diagonals. So 1 and 2. You then want to go up on top of the second upright diagonal by 1. Then do 5 upright diagonals. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then go to the right of that fifth upright diagonal by 1. Then do another upright diagonal. Go to the right by 1. Then do another upright diagonal. And go to the right by 1. Then do another upright diagonal. Go to the right by 2. 1, 2. Then do another upright diagonal. Go to the right by 3. 1, 2, 3. Then do another upright diagonal. And go to the right of it by 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then finally do another upright upright diagonal, and just go to the right of the diagonal by a miscellane... <clears throat> and just go to the right of that diagonal by a miscellaneous amount of blocks. It doesn't matter how many. One, two, three. That'll do. And that should give you something which should look a little bit like this. Once you've reached this point right here, you have successfully made roughly 50% of the outline. It's actually really simple. It seems as though there's been a lot to do, but really, we've not accomplished much at all. Once you've reached this point right here, and as always, pause this if necessary, of course, it's time for us to continue on. However, we're not going to be continuing from where we left off. We're going to be starting from the bottom again. We're going to now start down from the right-hand side of our row of 13, and we're pretty much just going to be mirroring what we've just done on the left-hand side there. The one and only reason we're doing it this way is because I prefer to build up rather than down. Only reason. Let's get cracking, shall we? So, starting from this 13th block here, you want to do an upright diagonal. And go to the right of it by 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then do another upright diagonal. And go to the right by 2. 1, 2. Then do another upright diagonal. And go to the right by 3. 1, 2, 3. Then do another upright diagonal. Go to the right by 1. 
then do another upright diagonal. Go to the right, by one, then do another upright diagonal. Go to the right, by one, then do two upright diagonals, so one, and two. Go to the right of that second upright diagonal, by one, then do two more upright diagonals, so one, and two. Go up on top of that second upright diagonal, by one. Then do two more upright diagonals, so one and two. Go up on top of that second upright diagonal, by one. Then do another upright diagonal. And go up on top of this single upright diagonal, by six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. To give you a nice row of seven yellow wool. Once you have your row of seven yellow wool, this is what you want to do next. Starting from this seventh block, you want to do two up left diagonals. So one and two. Go up on top of that second up left diagonal by one. And then do five up left diagonals. So one, two, three, four, and five. Go to the left of that fifth up left diagonal by one. Then do an up left diagonal. Go to the left by one. Then do another up left diagonal. And go to the left by one. Then do another up left diagonal. And go to the left by two. One, two. Then do another up left diagonal. And go to the left by three. So one, two, three. Then do another up left diagonal. And go to the left by five so one two three four five and finally do another up left diagonal and this time go left of that diagonal until the right hand side of your outline connects connects to the left hand side of your outline making up words now and what you should find once it has connected is that you should have a nice oval shape that should look exactly like this not too difficult is it it's just a Big, giant oval shape. A lot of twists and turns, I suppose. Not really twists, but a few turns. Once you've reached this point right here, and as always, pause this if necessary, of course, it's now time for us to actually move on to the bat portion of our logo. This is just the outline that the bat is going to sit in. I'll be back once we have a full day of daylight. Alright, so moving on. The first thing we have to do to make our bat is come down to our original row of 13 and locate the middle block. It should be the 7th block in, starting from the left or the right, it doesn't really matter. I'm just eyeballing it. This is pretty much the middle block. What you want to do once you've found it is go up on top of it with your yellow wool by 4. So, 1, 2, 3... Four. Then take out your black wool and go up on top of your yellow by a further four. So one, two, three, four. You then want to extend out this fourth block both to the right and to the left by one to give you a nice T shape like this. What you then want to do starting from the left part of our T shape is just go up on top of it by one. And then proceed to do... Five up left diagonals from the block. So from here, one, two, three, four, and five. Then from the fifth up left diagonal, go left by two. One, two. Then do four bottom left diagonals. So one, two, three, four. Then from that fourth bottom left diagonal, do three up left diagonals. So one, two, three. Go to the left of that third up left diagonal by two. One, two. And do another up left diagonal. Go to the left by one. Then do a bottom left diagonal. And go to the left by one. Then do two bottom left diagonals. So one and two. Go down from that second bottom left diagonal by two. One, two. Then do a bottom right diagonal. And go down by two. One, two. Then go to the right of this second block, this bottom block, by one. Then go down by one. 
then go right by one. What you then want to do once you've formed this little shape right here is return back to this row of three and go left from this middle block by two. One, two. Then do an up left diagonal and go to the left by one. Then do five up left diagonals. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then go up on top of the fifth upper left diagonal by two. One, two. Then do another upper left diagonal. And go up on top of it by four. So one, two, three, four. Then do an upright diagonal. Go up on top of the diagonal by one. Then do two upright diagonals. So one and two. Go on top of that second upright diagonal by one. Then do another upright diagonal. Go to the right by one. Then do two upright diagonals, so one and two. Go to the right of that second upright diagonal by one. Then do another upright diagonal. Go to the right by one. Then do another upright diagonal. Go to the right by one. Then do another upright diagonal. That's basically placing a block right here. And then go to the right of that diagonal by three. So one, two, three. Then go up on top of that third block by one. Then go right of it by two. One, two. Then go up by one. And then right by one. Let me just show you what you want to have made so far, since we have done quite a few quite a few twists and turns here. So this is what you want to have so far. Of course you'll know whether you've done it right if the top of what we've just made connects just underneath the outline. However, just to show you what the shape should be shaping up, oh, shaping up to look like, this is what it should be looking like. Once you've reached this point right here, and as always, pause this if necessary, of course, we can continue on. So coming back up to where we were, we're not actually starting from here. You want to locate this block right here. Should be easy enough for you to find. Once you've found it, you then want to place a block just below it. So you want to have this. Then, starting from the block that you just went down by one with, you want to do a bottom left diagonal. And go down by two, one, Two. Then do a bottom right diagonal. Go down by one. Then do two bottom right diagonals. So one and two. Go to the right of that second bottom right diagonal by one. Then do another bottom right diagonal. Go to the right of that bottom right diagonal by five. So one, two, three, four, five. Then do an upright diagonal. Go to the right by one, then do another upright diagonal, and go up by one, then do another upright diagonal, and go up by eight, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you should note that if that eighth block connects just below the top of the outline, you are doing A-OK. -okay. Once you have your in total row of nine, this is what you want to do. So come up to the top here and locate the fourth block coming down. So that would be the first, second, third, and fourth. So starting from the fourth block coming down, this one right here, you want to go to the right by one. Then do a bottom right diagonal. Is that the fourth block? That's the third block, I apologize. Starting from the actual fourth block, which is this one right here, there we go, we've actually got it this time. Starting from the fourth block, coming down, do a block going right, and then do a bottom right diagonal. And go to the right of that diagonal by two, one, two. Then do an upright diagonal. Then go to the right by one. Then go up on top of that single block, by three. One, two, three. That should connect to the top of the outline. Then return back to the block that you just went up from and go down from it this time by five. So one, two, three, four, five. 
And what you should find once you've done that is that you should be left with this weird looking 8 shape like this. That is exactly what you want to have. Once you've reached this point right here, you are pretty much over a little bit halfway done with the actual bat portion of this logo. The reason that I'm stopping here is because now I want to build up again from the right hand side. So continuing on, come back down to our black T here, this time starting from the right hand side again, just like with the second half of the outline of our logo, we're just going to be doing the exact same thing except mirrored. Again, I like building up, I don't like building down. So starting from this right block here, this is what you want to do. Place a block coming up from the right portion of your T. Then from that block, do five upright diagonals. So one, two, three, four, five. Then go right of that fifth upright diagonal by two. One, two. Then do four bottom right diagonals. So one, two, three. Three and four. Then do three upright diagonals from that fourth bottom right diagonal. So one, two, and three. Go to the right of that third upright diagonal by two. So one, two. Then do an upright diagonal. Go to the right by one. Then do a bottom right diagonal. Go to the right by one. Then do two bottom right diagonals. So one, two. Go down from that second bottom right diagonal by two. One, two. Then do a bottom left diagonal. And go down by two. One, two. Then go to the left of the second block coming down by one. Then go down by one. And go left by one to give you this shape right here. What you then want to do is return back to this row of three and starting from this middle block you want to go to the right by two. One, two. Then do an upright diagonal. Go to the right by one. Then do five upright diagonals. So one, two, three, four, five. Go up on top of the 5th upper right diagonal by 2, 1, 2. Then do another upper right diagonal. Go up on top of it by 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then do an up left diagonal. Go up on top of that up left diagonal by 1. Then do 2 up left diagonals, so 1 and 2. Go up on top of that second up left diagonal by one. Then do an up left diagonal. Go to the left by one. Then do two up left diagonals, so one and two. Go to the left of that second up left diagonal by one. And do another up left diagonal. Go to the left by one. And do another up left diagonal. And go to the left by one. Then do another up left diagonal which is basically just placing the block right here and go to the left of that diagonal by three. So one, two, three. Then go up on top of this third block by one. Go to the left of it by two, one, two. Then go up by one. Then go left by one to form this little shape right here. What you want to do once you have formed this shape is come back to this block right here, should be easy enough for you to find, and go down from this block by one, like so. What you then want to do from this single block here is a bottom right diagonal, and go down by two, one, two. Then do a bottom left diagonal, and go down by one. Then do two bottom left diagonals, so one and two. Go to the left of that second bottom left diagonal by one. Then do another bottom left diagonal. Go to the left of it by five, so one, two, three, four, five. Then do an up left diagonal. 
go to the left by one, then do another up left diagonal, and finish this all off by placing a single block on top of that up left diagonal, which should give you something which should look a little bit like this, just to show you the right hand side first. Of course, if you've done it right, everything will connect together, but that is the right hand side there. Pause this if necessary. Let me just show you what everything wants to look like once it has been completely put together. And I can take the UI off for this. So this is what you want to have once everything has been done. The outline in which the bat sits is done. The actual outline of the bat is done. The only things that we have to do now are fill in two very large pools of color. We have to fill the bat entirely in with black wool and we have to fill everywhere else around the bat in with yellow wool. I'm going to be back in a moment once I've done both of those things, back in a mo. So that is what it should look like once you have completely filled in your Batman logo. As I mentioned, all I've done there is I've filled the entire bat in with black wool and I've filled everywhere else in around the bat in with yellow wool. Very simple indeed. Once you've reached this point in the video, I have nothing left to show you. You should hopefully be looking, all went well, at exactly what I'm looking at on my screen, on your screen. That's Inception. Hopefully you guys had an easy enough time making this. It's pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.